tank which twists to act as a springing motion and like the American tank we just left there. They said all of welded construction and weighed about 56 tons to 100 millimeters of frontal armor and you needed that extra rubber in contact with the track to spread and see it when it's parked up. You'll see that it's had extra armor that actually drags the tank along its track so that the front rather than two or five that would be three in the turret and two in the front of the hull. The driver on the left take off the tin plate that runs down the side and then um, put on narrower track to the That was a right shore, remarkable. They could cope with most sort of conditions from the rud, mud and snow of Russia to the sands of the desert and of course northwest Europe. And they were um, it's getting a bit of a move on now, it's about as much as it can do in this arena. To show you something a bit more impressive, but uh, they're a good example, those three, of what the Germans actually used in fairly large numbers. The Panzer three and we have pulled. But the Tiger was and is a very impressive vehicle and well worth seeing just to have it trundle around the arena.